Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen, and today I want to show you how to catch your first bass. This little technique can also be used for if you just can't catch a fish and you want to feel your line pulled. Uh, this is a very finessey technique um, and we're going to go over it from start to finish. Basically, the rig that I would use if I had to catch a fish or I had never caught a bass before, I would use what's called a split shot rig. Um, get yourself a spinning rod, uh, medium light action spinning rod, medium action, really doesn't matter. Just get a spinning rod that can cast something really light. Get some, some worm hooks, one odd or, or number one offset uh, worm hooks. This is an offset round bend. Round bed really doesn't matter. Um, you take and you put six or eight pound, preferably eight pound test fishing line on your rod. Tie your hook on with either a Palomar knot or an improved clinch knot. Any of these things that, um, you know, like the knots to tie and stuff like that. I've got some good videos. I'll put links down in the description of anything that might help you uh, during this video or after you watch it. Oh, and if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. That way, every single time I put a video out, you know it. All right, so we got the the basically the hook tied on okay and then get yourself some split shot weights okay these are water gremlin they're they're the ones that are just easiest to find um number seven says pss7 whatever that means okay and they're just little split shots just like that and you basically go up about oh five or six inches and pinch that split shot on. What I like to use instead of a split shot is these water gremlin, uh, what do they call, bull shot is what they are. And they're little uh, uh, pinch on bullet weights is what they are. And get one out. Little bitty pinch on bullet weights. You put that on pointy side towards the rod big side towards the uh, the hook get your pliers and pinch it on real good and you then when you're at the store pick up some straight tail worms something like a biospawn plasma tail or some type of a straight tail worm black green pumpkin uh, this is a June bug um, I wonder if I have that in green pumpkin I don't know what to see but anyway and, and you basically Texas rig it let me zoom in real quick show you guys what it looks like to Texas rig it okay so and I'm gonna put a video a lot better video than this one right here um, down in the description on how to Texas rig a worm. But you put the hook in just like this, pull the worm through, and twist the hook as you're pulling it through, and it gets you to the right there. Then I lay the hook along the side, see where it's going to go back in the worm. I go to that spot, and I just tug. And I just make sure that that tip of that hook is just right there, just barely under the skin, and it's ready to fish. And that's what it looks like. It's a split shot rig. All right, let's go catch a fish on it. All right, so somebody is gonna say, but Gene, I don't have a boat. <laughs> I know it's gonna happen. Somebody's gonna say it. You don't need a boat for this technique. Man, it is just hot and I'm sweating to death. But you don't need a boat for this technique. Just go, go to your lake, go to whatever pond you fish, go to whatever body of water you fish, and go throw this thing around sticks, around grass, around, anything any type of cover that's shallow that's what i'm doing right here i mean if i was fishing the bank i'd be fishing the grass that's along here it's shallow i'm fished i'm throwing into four feet deep so don't be hating on me because i got a boat you can do this from the bank
Where this, this rig really excels is basically fishing grass, but I mean, it works good in sticks and everything else. Now you're gonna break off sometimes. Um, make sure your drag is set to where, you know, it's about half of your, half of your uh, poundage on your, your line poundage, or just kind of guess, I just guess. I'm not picky. You just throw it out and you let it sink till it stops. And the way you know it stops is that line stops going out. It kind of goes slack. And you just drag it real slow. And basically what I'm trying to do is, is almost every drag, I want to contact something. I want to feel something through my, long, through my rod. And you notice I'm not using my, my reel to, to uh, pull the bait. I'm pulling it with the rod and I'm, using the, I'm just using the reel to bring up the slack line. Just like that. And that's all I'm trying to do. Okay. Take it. Make a good long whipping cast with that spinning rod. Let it sink till it stops sinking. And you're just slowly dragging it is all you're doing. And when a bite happens, when, when there's a bite, so a lot of times you don't feel it on this rig, but when you pull that line tight, something feels weird. Um, you know, you get used to feeling grass, get used to feeling the sticks and everything else, but something feels weird and you just stop your rod, completely stop it. And if something moves your line and you feel it through your rod, it's a fish. Okay, when you go to the store and pick up your worms, buy three colors of worms. Buy a black, buy a green pumpkin, and buy a June bug or a red bug, one of the two. And those are the three colors that pretty much work everywhere, okay, and work with every watercolor. Now, this doesn't work too good in really, really, really muddy, muddy water, but... If you throw close enough to whatever you can see, like a stick or a stump or something, and there's liable to be a bass there because they can't see very good either. So they get as close as they can to cover sh that's really shallow. Now, if you notice, I've got braided line on my spinning rod. Um, when you're getting started, you don't really need to do that. Just whatever eight pound test line you can get. There's a bite. Ah, I missed him. How'd I miss him? Really? All right. Got to make sure you open that bale up before you cast. What I'm doing right here is I'm working the outside edge of a grass line. So I take it and I throw it up into the grass that I can see. <laughs> Some of it I can't see because it's a little bit deeper, but, and then I'm just dragging it off of the shallow grass into that deeper water. When you get hung up on something, you just drop your rod to a slack line real quick and just give it a pop. Just poop, poop, and it comes right through. That's what I love about this rig. Will it get hung up? Yeah, probably. But it's a lot less likely to get hung up than a lot of things. And can you use different types of worms and different types of plastics doing this? Sure. I mean, I, I've done really well with a little tiny lizard, just you can't cast it as far, or a ribbon tail worm, any kind of soft plastic, and I like to, you know, small or straight tail. And the reason I like a straight tail is because you can just cast it a, uh, quite a bit further. It doesn't catch as much wind as you're casting. There's one. I want you to notice what I did. I set the hook to the side. Just always get a better hook set with this rig and a Carolina rig if you set the hook to the side. And like I said, it don't always catch big fish, but when you've got to get a fish in a boat just to make yourself feel better, this is the rig to do it. And this is the way to do it. What I ended up doing a minute ago 
was I changed colors. Little bitty fish. <laughs> but anyway, I changed colors to a, 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 a green pumpkin candy is what it's called. It's a um, Zoom trick worm. Uh, the, the, I just wanted to dip that tail in JJ's Magic and some chartreuse JJ's Magic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I realized I was out of the frame. Anyway, so that's it right there. Pretty cool. Well, I hope you learned something from this video. Um, check out my Fishing Shirt of the Month uh, Club. Uh, you guys will get the chance, uh, a winner this month will get the chance to go fishing with me. Uh, and, uh, and either it's your house or, or your, your lake or um, a lake. I don't know. We're thinking about a lake in Texas. I don't know. Anyway, so well, like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water. Go ahead and catch some fish. Have a great day. See you later.